I'd like to call to order the City of Cherryville's regular work session meeting of Tuesday, May the 28th, 2024. First item we have on our agenda is to approve the agenda as presented. Uh, what is the pleasure of the council on the agenda approval? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second that we accept the agenda as uh, presented. All in favor of this motion, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. And it does carry unanimously. Next item is a presentation from the Cherryville ABC board. And at this time, I'd like our finance director, Dixie Wall, if you'd come forward. Uh, the representative from the ABC board is not here. I don't know whether he's forgotten it, but he has given the check to John Abernathy, council member. And John has a check to present to you. And if you'll open it and let us know how much it is. Which I know. So the ABC board is having another banner year. Uh, they just had their monthly meeting uh, last week. And there's a check for $30,000. They're in the process of being all the good. And whenever that audit is complete, we'll expect another check to come after the uh, state audit's done. And they've assured me that it's going to be the largest that they've ever given to the city. Yes. Uh, I Did met the with... manager say where he was, John? Did he... uh, I didn't know if they were... They gave me the check, I guess. I don't know that they were really planning on coming. They didn't tell me they oh, were. okay. So okay. I'm assuming maybe that's why they gave me the check. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, he talked to us at MPO. Yeah, I saw Alan. Like he sat beside me at MPO, <coughs> and he told me they were going to bring the check. And yeah, so when I saw ABC chairman, I was a little surprised because they didn't say we're coming. They were like, here, present this to the council. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. And uh, there will be another one coming. And next yep. item... Um, well, no, while we're still under this, uh, yeah, it is the no, it is the next yeah. item. Discussion of request. We have a request from Cherryville ABC board, and that's to uh, the installation of the new sign. This is on the service road. Uh, the actual land is owned by uh, Great Outdoors, but they let the uh, ABC store use that sign so that when you're coming up that road, it has an arrow pointing Cherryville ABC liquor store so that people know it is alcohol store. And the reason the city has to approve it is because it they have the city seal down in the right hand corner, which I think it, it looks nice and they are an entity of the city. So I would need uh, a motion from council to approve it as presented or to discuss it if you want to. Uh, so the, the sign's been there forever. It still works, it lights up, but it's faded and it's cracking. It's just plastic on both sides. So that's, they're just wanting to replace that with new plastic. Uh, so that's kind of what this is for. So they're not adding another sign? No, it's gonna be it's the just, same it's sign. Just it's just replacing it's it. just replacing the plastic and then the light shines in the middle and illuminates it from both sides. So. Very minimal cost involved, probably. Yeah. And, and there is a difference. The other one did not have the city seal on it, well, and this one does, and that's why they're asking. Can, can anybody think of any negative thing that could come from the seal being on there? I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just speaking. I'm just. Well, Mr. Stanton, you know. The public turning. perception, right, of alcohol in the city yes. would be my only concern yes. because people can perceive things well, as we I know. know they can, mm -hmm. but, but we do have a beautiful seal. And they have given a lot of money to, to the city. Let me ask and, you this. Is, is the store owned by the city? No. Got its own corporation? We own the contents. Okay. We rent the store. If it goes belly up, we auction off the inventory and it that goes to the city. So we own the store but not the building. We don't own the building. I, I, don't, do we? I don't think we own anything. No, we, don't we don't own the land. Yeah, we don't. We it's don't its own, own it's a okay. separate corporation. It's kind of its own separate entity that is Closet. Well, when I was us. on the board for many years, I was told that uh 
In fact, I had to put my house up yeah. to build that extra uh, warehouse. Yeah. Uh, the one, the four guys that was on them, we had to put our houses up as collateral. And uh, they said, You're, you own the building, but the contents you do not own. Contents will either be sent back to Raleigh to the warehouse and money received, but all the money from the contents of the store goes to the city. I know that to be 100%. Yeah, I, I, I can have Yancey, the uh, our city attorney, that. to check that for sure. But that's the way it was when I was on the board. But if you look it up on, say, Gaston County Tax, it's not going to show that the city of Cherryville owns that building. Mm -hmm. The city owns nothing down there. The only thing we do is appoint the board. Appoint the board. Yeah, right. yes. mm -hmm. And see, and there, the there's obviously laws in Tennessee. place. That's why so, we just received that check because mm -hmm. a certain mm -hmm. amount of their proceeds have to come to the city. That's correct. Mm -hmm. right. I think if it's we don't, we government. don't own the building and, and manage it, right. our seal shouldn't be on it. It says Cherryville on there already. Cherryville Plaza. Why do we need to put our seal on? Well, to me, we're making ourselves liable. And of course, they can sue you for anything, but. It makes it look like we own it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I would defer to our attorney, but I mean, I I would love to be able to put our seal. But if uh, <coughs> if we have some liability there or something, mm -hmm. I'll add my seal. It's like a city-owned building. Uh huh. It's not. That's the yeah. difference too. Mayor Council, I'd like building. some time just to do a little bit of research. Okay. Um, to look at other communities and see what their signs look like and see if there are any other cities that are engaged and if there is any kind of case law that would suggest that this is a good or bad idea and report back to you all um, if that would be acceptable to the council and mayor. Okay. Uh, we'll do, uh, uh, does that suit everybody to yeah. defer it to our June 10th council meeting? Yeah. That's, that's for further said, yeah. for further discussion or vote okay and we'll let them know because i think they're ready to have the sign made. Yet. i don't yes. think so because that's they wanted to prove by the city so of the liability right. i think well. okay next item and again uh, this is item four consideration of zoning ordinance amendment and this still goes back to our cluster development. We did discuss it to some detail uh, in public hearing at the last public hearing we had on this. So I don't know what's new. We have our pl planning and zoning director, Richard Elam here. If there's anything that council wants to ask him that they think's new on this, uh, that's pages one through four in your uh, iPads. <laughs> there is nothing new on those four pages. Let me so. ask you this, Richard. If, if you go with special use cluster, can that be 6,000 square feet, 9,000 square feet? What's the limit on the size of the lots? get that designation uh for the r9 cluster at six thousand square feet that's special special use that's through the special yeah they would resent it to a special use cluster of six thousand square feet and if you had an r12 it would be nine thousand no eight thousand square feet and that could still be considered special use cluster all clusters are yeah. special get to a special use, use a permit special yes. use. How, how large can you go until it's not a cluster anymore? Smallest you can go is R9, <coughs> and the largest is R40, which is 40,000 square feet and above. Even if you're R9, you can still be larger than that. That's the minimum you can be. If it's R12, 12,000 is the smallest it can be. But if it's R9, you can go 6,000, can't you? No, if it's a special use, it, special it would use have to be use. special use. Yeah. Yeah. It can be 6,000 or more. And R9 right now is six foot setbacks. Yeah, that's one of the main, that's one of the things I'm asking to get right. changed. It's five. And so that'd be 12 foot. 
between the houses. Right, and add an additional 10 feet from the edge of the street to the corner house. Yeah. And right you, now it's six feet, if five you think, feet. If you think about it like this, when, when the other two developments come, and that's what makes it special use, mm -hmm. is these are the minimum qualifications you got to have. That's where you as a council can say, well, you know, I'm on a special use, and that's where we went from five to six foot side setbacks. Mm -hmm. And that's where you can come up with other things that you request okay. with approval for those type of development. Because we had the one, we increased that one out there. Yeah. At, uh, I mean, you increased it basically yeah. during the meeting. You know, you said, we don't like five foot side setbacks, we want six foot minimum. And that's why it went to six. And the, the guy left from here, went to his car and come back and said, done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and you're that, recommending everything in yellow, is that correct? Right. And so a you couple did of, not recommend the strike through the R9? Yeah, so that's, I did. That was part of my recommendation. And I know y'all want to continue that probably to the next meeting. But if there's any way we could have got the items like this five feet to six foot and mm -hmm. page three, the items three, four, and five, and then on page four. Mm -hmm. So are we leaving R9 in or not? Correcting D. You know, that's just wordage that mm -hmm. should be. Whatever y'all decide down the road on the clusters, that's fine, but those particular things need to be done so changed and put into the ordinance. Okay. Would, uh, I'll defer to our city attorney again. Would that require another public hearing to do that? I think so, yes, sir. That's what I was thinking. If you this was on. The one, you can continue the one you had last okay. meeting in June at our June council meeting. Okay. But all this was given to you at the last meeting, so it's already been gone over in a public hearing. Mm -hmm. Right. We were, I think there was no action. Exactly. We're carried over, I think, to the work, to the next meeting anyway. Okay. Correct. Okay, so that'll be on uh, June the 10th. That's fine. Okay. Is that okay? Anything else? No. no, <laughs> no, no, no. That's right. Can I ask a question? I'm, I'm Is there somebody good. waiting now? Isn't there somebody kind of waiting? Or you just no, want no, to get no. Okay. No, that's a, no, okay. I know there's maybe people out there wanting to buy large sections of land. Mm -hmm but they hadn't submitted anything. I haven't heard of anybody. Okay. I'm just still confused. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're fine. But on, on the on the um, pages we have, R9 is struck through. Totally. That was my recommendation, my recommendation. To take it out. To the planning board. But now we're not doing that. Well. What's up to us? I was bringing what they didn't recommend to the city council. That's what Since the they planning make a board wanted. On that. The planning and zoning board, when they met, their recommendation was to do away with it. With clusters. All, all, clusters. Clusters. All, all clusters, not just our They didn't go with Same. any of my recommendations. They wanted to go, do away with 6,000 this, 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 uh, That's what I'm going to do. This R9 is under the minimum single family <clears throat> lots. Mm -hmm. That would be so I'm I'm just I'm just so very confused about that. <laughs> Do we leave that R9 in there? Right. Yes, it's in well, right now. presently in there. Presently yeah. it is. It's, that's what he's asking y'all to make a decision on in June. Next is, month, yeah. Do we keep the R9 cluster in there with six thousand square foot lots? Or and the no, no, no. Lot? It's not six thousand, is it? Yeah. Yeah, He's got eight thousand is his that, that's recommendation. On R12. That's on R twelve. That's an R twelve. That's on R twelve. Is that a six? Oh, yeah, this I don't is... have my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> that's a six. Oh, well, I can make it better. See, oh, okay, R9. I yeah. see now. Yeah. yeah. So okay, I do. That's the decision you'll have to make: yeah. is do we leave that R nine cluster in there with six thousand square foot lots as the minimum, or do you take that part out? And go with R12, 8,000 square foot is removed. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but we, we're we not removing R9 from just a regular subdivision. No, no, no. no. no, 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 no. None of that, you were only talking about clusters. I only clusters. Only clusters. Okay. Okay. Right. But that yeah. was why we denied the other builders they were, over the R9, 6,000. They were going from R12 
we'll get the whole thing rezoned to an R9 Nine cluster, twice. which is 6,000. So they were cutting the, wanting to cut the land in, in half. half. But if, if we take your recommendation, <coughs> take it out, then they can't do that there. They'd have to come back with something different. Either a special leaf, use right. permit. They've got it now. They could go with 12,000 square foot lots and make houses. Right. But any kind, even if they wanted to go with an R12 cluster, they still have to come back for a special use permit. Right. Mm -hmm. They're going to do away with the green Richard's space, the, the walking trails. Yep, that would eliminate the rest of them. So. You'll lose that canopy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Stormwater yeah, runoff would be a lot worse. Have taken that's, the reason, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the reason we put mm -hmm. part 11 back into it so right. that. They could make a big section of land into 9,000 square foot lots, 12,000 square foot lots. Right. They have to go through, a, through that. Richard's recommendations. And when, while we're talking about cluster development, too, I want you to all remember, too, the Rickway Road development, you know, it's on both sides of the road. Mm -hmm. So if you're going down Rickway Road, you know, the, the side to the left, the big side, that is R9 cluster. Mm -hmm. 6,000 square foot lot. But the, the smaller section on the right is still R12. Mm -hmm. You did not rezone it to R9 cluster. Mm -hmm. You left it R12. So when they build those, is it 25 maybe on the right hand side of the road? Right, it's not many. It's somewhere around, it's in the 20s, mm -hmm. the wow. number. When, if they do that side, they will have to have the 12,000 square foot lot on that side. No. They have not submitted a final plat no. for that yet. Okay, so I was under the impression that the land on the right was not cluster. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not. not. It's R12. That's what I thought. Okay. Because it matches up with what's already there yes. on that uh, side of the road. Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But see, so we had, in our ordinance, we had a lot of reference to this section 11 for just a standard subdivision. But we did not have section 11 in our ordinance. Yeah, that was a problem. So, so now we have, if you have land and you're not seeking a special use, now you still have rules and regulations that you have to follow for that subdivision. The cluster is if you want something other than that section 11 rules and requirements, you have to come before council and say, I need a special use, and then it would be subject to now this cluster. So it's two separate subdivision ordinances, essentially. Cluster that you have to apply for, Section 11 subdivision, which automatically applies to you if you take a tract of land and start subdividing it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Either way, you have to come before the board to get the plat approved. Yes, right? mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. And, and the planning board. Yes, sir. Exactly. Okay, any other questions for Richard or for our attorney? If not, we'll move on to uh, item five, consideration of a dead-end sign on Hillsdale Drive. And we have a public works director, uh, Chris King. Uh, tell us exactly where Hillsdale Drive is. Good evening. Uh Hillsdale Drive is off of North Drive. It's the first road to the right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, complete dead end, just like Joyce Drive was. Basically the same exact situation and had a citizen contact us about putting a dead end sign up there. Not sure people are just pulling in there, not turning around in their driveway or yeah. what's going on, but they want a dead end sign put up there. So. Okay. And our garbage trucks had a lot of trouble there at one time being able to turn or they, having to back out. Or, they back in there. Yeah, they <laughs> have to. So there's no... There's no way to turn around. Can't turn. No. I'd much rather back in than have to back out. It's not the two or three houses down there. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Okay. Does any council member have any questions to ask in regards to the dead end sign? I make a motion that we approve the dead end sign on Hillsdale Drive. Yes, sir. Okay, we have a motion to approve the dead end sign on Hillsdale Drive. We have a second. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Uh, All opposed, the same. There is none. Okay. Go to item six, discussion of the National League of City Service Line Warranty Program. And uh, Councilman Janice Hovis had asked about that. 
Uh, this was before her tenure began, and uh, we approved this. You know, that's where the company could go in, use our seal, and request. And uh, they were supposed to pay us uh, for anybody that signed up, but it's, I, th I talk, we talked to Dixie, and uh, we've not received any. I gave you a sheet there, Mayor. I gave all of you an email. I talked to uh, I'm not even going to try to butcher the lady's last name. <laughs> Uh, but you can see an email today where I talked to her because obviously these mail these these letters go out You get them in the mail and then people make their own individual decision oh, whether okay. they want to take out this insurance policy or not So we really don't know who or how many people have taken them out So I reached out to her today and I did get an email back from her and it shows you there the current customers is 32 that they've had total policy 66 you know it's water lines uh, 31 water lines 29 sewer lines and six in-home in plumbing po policies. So based off of that, our royalties off of what we get from that is, what we should get is $236. Well, when I reached out to her, she thought that the check had been sent to us in February. That's when they paid the royalties. When we looked, we did not receive anything. So she said, yeah, fill out this form. We've sent the form in today, so we'll get a check for $236. Okay. But it's basically 50 cent for a policy. Uh, they have had two that have had uh, two claims so far in the city that have oh, been really? filed that they've paid. So, so it's pretty good. She didn't have any percent. explanation about why we hadn't gotten it? Well, they didn't have the form that oh, they have yeah. to have to, okay. to process the payment. Right. Do they yeah. use local contractors? They do. They do. So had they not sent the form, or had we not just sent it back? Well, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, to be honest. But we sent it today okay. after they found out that we didn't receive the form. Okay. And it was a simple form. They'll do an ACH deposit. We'll get it. Okay. I have a question about the form that they did mail out to our uh, our customers mm -hmm. on the amount that uh, they would need to pay and it doesn't list the interior now they do provide interior they do mm -hmm. this says uh, exterior water line coverage sewer septic line coverage but on this page it doesn't show anything about the interior so uh, mm -hmm. The only thing I'm looking at is if you look on your on your iPads on page six. On that one it does, but this one, but this one that they mailed out, it doesn't have anything on there. Yeah, that one does. That's what they presented back to y'all earlier. Mm -hmm. If you look on page six, it shows in-home plumbing is $9.99 a month. But what the, what the people have to sign in, sign up for, doesn't give that option. I think that, that is something they'd have to take up with them if that's yeah. what they want to take out. Probably but they've the sales, obviously sold. Probably yeah, well, we don't have anything to do with it. We don't have anything to do we with it. We have nothing to do with it at all. We just allowed them to do it. Well, I, I certainly don't have a problem with it, but we approved. Because you can see there, they have in-home plumbing Yeah, they got six, six. people at some So like obviously four. people are taking those policies out. But so I guess maybe when they contact these people, they will mm -hmm. offer that that's, That's possible. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure they try to upsell. I'm, I'm sure. sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, sure. I'm sure they do. But you know, if, if you really think about it, if you take some of our older neighborhoods, Mayor Bean, mm -hmm. you look at your neighborhood, how many times have we all received phone calls where people are upset because their sewer lateral, laterals have collapsed mm -hmm. because it's old terracotta pipes? It is. I just collapsed. replaced mine last year. $3,500. And, and what people have to remember is they're responsible all the way to the main. That's right. Mm -hmm. That might be in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. You're responsible for that section of the road as well. So this policy helps those people. It helps give them an option to where they don't have to worry about that $2,500 bill to run that sewer lateral if, if they have to. You know, it's... Okay. If you live in certain neighborhoods... I think you really should look at If this. you have a, an exterior water line break. Mm -hmm. 
You're responsible. We're, we're you're helpless. responsible from the. You're responsible to from the meter, the meter to, to the, the meter to your house. Yes. To the meter. Mm -hmm. To the meter. Mm -hmm. We don't have to go out in the street. No. With the water. No. Line. Water's no. different. Water's sewer. different. The water's sewer different. does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sewer is different. Water mm -hmm. is just to the meter. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Sewers to the tap. Thank you very much. Yeah. And and a lot of we listen. We talked about this for a long time, Genesis. Before uh, we just. Well, I mean, it, I wasn't on board, and the more we looked into it, it was a plus, and I wish I'd have had it when my sewer line went. <laughs> so, well, and that's the reason. It's a I, good I thing, and we don't have to do anything. Because I wasn't on the yeah. council back yeah. then. Yeah, so, uh, you know, you know, we, we discussed and put it off a couple different times. Yeah, I think we discussed <laughs> it for two or three meetings. We did. We yeah. Yeah. And we because had we had to get back in touch with the company. That's right, that's right. And uh, if, if you look on page 15 of your iPads as well, it lists uh, 23 cities in North Carolina. Yeah, and we actually Shelby did one of them. Right. Shelby, yeah, assistant city manager at the time. Now, Shelby time. didn't get the deal we got. No, they did not get as good a deal. We got a better deal than oh, Shelby. Yeah, I saw that on my iPad the other night. Yeah. 50 well, I, for, from all Pretty I have read about it here, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. Is it strictly voluntary? Yeah, they can do as they wish. They can do as they wish. Okay, and that uh, that was for discussion only? That was discussion only. Okay, we'll move to item uh, seven is other business. Do I have any other business uh, to come before council from council at this time? I maybe do on one thing, and it's about the lists i've got people asking where am i on the list for getting these potholes fixed i don't know how our list looks i know chris and i've talked about the ones because when i rode through uh Dewey Bang estates and you see where the water's standing on the yard we could see even myself with ronnie and i riding through it the water stands on it because the sides of the road have grown up so and the water can't get can't escape. Is that it, uh, at the curb as you're going in? Is that where I'm thinking? Well, it's, uh, on, settler, it's on settlers and it's right there when it goes down into that curb. They've just patched it and it's all out again because I rode through it real slow and it was standing with water. It was after that last storm and my car went whoop, you know, and I was driving slow. So I can imagine people hitting it. This but, right when you pass, like, uh, Right there about Steve, names, uh, but... Steve uh, Jones. Mm -hmm. right okay, there. you're on up then. I, I was thinking I'm on the back the other you. way. There is, yeah, there's a ways, I think. And they're coming in the other way because, yeah, I took quite a beating on that one night. On some of them, I said, well, we're trying to get a list. I said, they're all over town. And, yeah, those, uh, those roads have been patched numerous times, but that's probably somewhere. The water still a, stands on it, washes that patch it right back out. Well, that's probably the cold patch out there. Yeah, that's the cold, cold patch. Mm -hmm. yeah. We probably need to get Chad out there and look at it. Probably doing <laughs> a couple of places in there where we have to cut the shoulders down. But yeah, <laughs> that's what he suggested. He said, I know they're not going to like it, but I mean, what else can you do? You've got to get the water off the road. And, and really, would you say that's comparable to what DOT was doing on 150? We won't go that We won't go that bad, <laughs> not that extreme, but you know, they it's did so the right. same thing. Yeah. Well, they yeah, cut the shoulders you're going to have, gonna have to. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. It's a similar process. Right. So, I just want to be able to tell them that we're looking mm. and you're on the list. There's so. a lot of, it's, it's everywhere, and you know from it NPO, yeah. they were talking about it's it's not it just for one city or municipality, it's it's everywhere. I just come from Gastonia, and I've hit quite a few coming up through there. Kings Mountain, the same way. Lincoln, they're all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I start telling people? Those shovel-ready jobs weren't as shovel-ready as they thought. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed one uh, when you come off stars and you're turning on to Academy there. It used to be Pinnacle. Yeah. There's a big hole there that that uh, your tire goes down in. Right there, is that Cherryville Warehouse? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right off of stars when you turn oh, right. Turn right. Okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but you've got a list, Chris. I've got that same. 
And uh, are we going to get the same crew out of Vesper City to do a bunch again? Or? Yes, we've got them right now. We've got an emergency PO for them just in case we get something on 150 or 274 that we have to cut up. Uh huh. Because that's got to be fixed in 24 hours. So it's a full DFP. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, in, any other business from council? Any uh, uh, business from staff? I'll give you an update. We did go out today. Uh, the issue that you are aware of at the gym, you know, they have some, some dirt that, that is not the best in the world. Uh, so we met with the, uh, Chris came and we met with the, the guy that was doing the soil sample. So they think they have a plan in place and they're going to put, uh, they're basically going to dig a hole tonight to make sure it's not groundwater coming up. If it's not groundwater coming up, that's a real good thing. Uh, and tomorrow they can fill that in and they've got a geo grid that they'll put down on the ground and then they bring good dirt and put over top of that and then we should be good to go. So as long as everything works out tonight and it's not groundwater, we should be making progress tomorrow. Okay. So all that dirt that's piled up now, is it, does that come from the site? Most of that is the bad dirt. So they haven't started bringing in new dirt yet? No. no. Well, they brought a small sample load in for the the soil engineer to get the tape back and test it to confirm that it is good dirt. But that's it for now. They'll bring that in after he finishes his test. And, okay. and don't forget Friday, um, yet to you too, if you can come to the American Legion <coughs> hot dogs. for the hot dog luncheon with all the trimmings and desserts and everything. It's just an appreciation of our city employees and all that they do for our town. Thank you. Are we keeping that building out there? The building? We're just going to yeah. use it for storage or something? I think we'll do something with it eventually. Yeah. yeah. But yeah Is it, it full of stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have a lot back. of stuff. The, the summer family has okay. a lot of stuff they, they have need to get, to get out, out of there. Right. And I told them there's no rush. You yeah. take your time. But it's a good building, yeah. right? I'm sure yeah. we got some stuff we can put oh, in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, you know, it must be in pretty good shape mm -hmm. if they're storing their yeah. Christmas decorations <laughs> and uh, yeah. different things out there so it's not leaking as far as we know. So. I've got one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of the Presbyterian members are wanting that those trees taken out in, into the old EMS building. Yeah. Have that cleared out. Any way we can do that project? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I feel like there's other places that we probably need to take trees out first. Uh, one being down at, say, Dixie Youth Softball. You take those trees that are in there. Those trees are, are overgrown. I would probably say they're dead. They, you know, the roots have busted up the brick that are, that are around the trees. Oh yeah, those big oaks. And so I think those need to come out probably before the ones at the uh, ambulance bay. In my opinion, they're so big. I guess they're afraid of what they're going to they come that way. What I've heard is just an eyesore. They want to put some landscaping over there. They volunteered to do it if we need to clear all that stuff out. And, you know, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with the concept. Yeah, it'd be good to get them gone. But I just don't know if it the priority trumps level locations. And that's just my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not for or against. I'm just bringing it up. Yes. We do. We do. We do. Anything from staff? Nothing further. Okay. If not, uh, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion is second for adjournment. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed the same. We are adjourned. I know we're adjourned, but I got one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, back in. Uh, try to remember, uh, I know G at uh, June's meeting, you know, we'll obviously have the budget, but the, the new fees that we gave to you maybe two months ago, mm -hmm. to remember that, we'll need to make a decision on that. Okay. 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 And uh, we'll need to call. Uh, That's just reporting fees. Okay. So I need to bring that to you. We either need our city clerk or city manager to let uh, ABC I'll, I'll call. know. I'll call. Okay. I'll take care of that. Just say, hey, we're going to vote on that at the next meeting, okay, right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, John. Okay. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. Then we'll have to vote on the cost of the I don't. Yeah.